guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Ananwin for anyone who's new here, and let's get back into another speed build. So today we are doing another island living speed build, and this time it is going to be island living and get to work only. So I am creating a retail store here in Sulani. So I so had an idea for a gym. I didn't like how I was going so I changed it to a shop and I think it looks way more fun now in my opinion. <laughs> so my idea for this was a recycled shipping containers build. So I thought it would be quite nice to do something with shipping containers because that's probably the only way things would be delivered to this island is through shipping containers. I thought it'd be fun to use that sort of look in a build and sort of make it higgledy piggledy <laughs> uh, so they look like they're like stacked awkwardly in a way and yeah, I wasn't too happy with how it was turning out, obviously, because I started off thinking that this would be a gym and I really wasn't happy with it like that. So I thought I would give it another layer and make it diagonal. Really go for the higgledy piggledy stacked look. And I really liked it. I didn't like the wallpaper I was using. That was a get to work one. So I went for the lovely colorful wallpaper from island living yeah i love how bright and colorful some things were with this pack definitely one of my favorites and i opened up each floor to the floor below it so the third floor you would see down to the second floor and the second floor you see down to the first just to make it a little bit more airy and I suppose it's really hot there so they would need good ventilation and the top floor is completely open in the end as well. So I've sort of done builds like this in the past. If you scroll through my gallery I've done one or two like this in the past. I really like this style. It's super fun and it looks great from map view as well when I go to load into this because this took me a few days to sort of go through and decide what I like the most. I'm super picky with builds. I think that's why they take me so long. I love making everything all matchy, but this one wasn't a matchy one as per se. <laughs> Just really colorful and fun. So I tried to make them look like blocks and use the new crystal clear flooring, whatever they want to call it, ceiling decoration, to give more light into the build as well. But I still wanted that sort of shipping container look so I tried to keep most of it enclosed. And obviously with having a diagonal build, like stairs don't go diagonal so this looks really awkward and I found that a little bit difficult to fit along with. Wasn't too, too happy with that, but I wish stairs did really go diagonal. That would have been a lot easier for me. And I have tested this build as well, and everything is accessible. You can get to every floor other than mermaids, because mermaids can't use ladders. I don't think there was an animation from, you know, water to ladder for mermaids, so the um the ladders don't work for mermaids so if you want to get to the top floor you're gonna have to have a human sim sort of to get up to the top floor but that's just going to be a furniture sort of store at the top i had this in mind for my saving solani let's play with lilo and stitch i thought it would be fun and sort of more realistic to send Lilo to go and buy stuff from the store instead of magicking it up from the from build mode. So I might visit this store in Seven Sulani to buy some items, which will be fun because it's just like a little bit more of a gameplay realism thing. 
And you can actually buy these boats as well. You can toggle them for sale, set for sale, which is pretty good, but you can't sell floaties and towels, <laughs> which is like, I don't really mind that. You can still go and buy the boats and stuff, which is pretty cool. So you can just do this as a boat shop if you'd like. But I made it sort of like a convenience store in a way where there's like loads of different things in one. Uh, it could just be like three different shops. But obviously you can't do that in The Sims. You could pretend that it's like three different stores, one on top of the other. Where you could have three different Sims selling the three different types of products that I've put in this build. Or you could get a very fit sim to run up and down <laughs> for whatever someone wants to sell. I think this would be kind of difficult to run, but I'm hoping it'll be fine to just use in build. And I really like this sort of open and eerie concept at the top because surely it would be way, way hotter at the top of this build than at the bottom. So I wanted to make sure that this was like more open. And I wanted this to be like sort of quirky, like the owner of the shop had collected these items themselves and has just sort of displaying everything that they've managed to find and they're trying to sell on to help other islanders and just sort of having a little bit of fun with it, shall we say. I wanted it to sort of be like a hoardery sort of look to it, so like a collected everything's collected into this shop and now they're selling it on it might even be fun to eventually buy this and run it as a shop with lilo i always use um when i built it i had the sort of just visiting it and buying things from it in mind but it might be fun to run this store a little bit difficult with the ladder as i said <laughs> i really love the new vases that came with island living too they're like super colorful and that's what i wanted to go with this build it's just colorful fun lots of knickknacks and collectibles all ready to be sold so this is like some debug mode items i think yes so this is debug before the new update with all the new unlocked items they've got a bucket and spade and i love this because this is proper seaside shop items the bucket and spade you can't actually set them for sale because they're free because they're debug items unfortunately but this was like a perfect little thing to put in the shop and i was super happy about that <laughs> buckets and spades like proper seaside souvenir -y shop items in a way and i do go in and collect the seashells myself with one of my own sims like uh, because I wasn't really happy with just having the conch shells on the shelves so I went in and collected all the shells around the beach around by this area and filled the shelves with those because they're not in debug mode which I was quite surprised with but the vegetables are so all of like the pineapples and the carver root and stuff is on a set of shelves as well I thought that'd be nice it's like a, a sort of convenience store uh, I think I said that uh, I thought it would be nice you know for realism and maybe other people would like to go and buy it instead of going to the vending machine so this is where I open up the levels to each other uh, so you can see that it goes down all the way down through the floors. It's quite nice in live mode. You could just like have a little nose down there. And this is going to be our fishing memorabilia. I'd say uh, level. So this is like the fishing and water level of the store. So like if you've got fishing sims or diving sims, this is like the floor for those sims. And I do include loads of fans because obviously I'm just imagining that it would be super hot everywhere in this. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just going to be super hot technically. If you've got seasons, it will be really warm for your sims. But realistically, it would be super hot. So you'd want those fans and they now work to cool down your sims. 
so that's pretty good so here's the diving gear and I do add in lifeguard career stuff and fishing stuff diving stuff and some treasures some fish be aware if your sim is a mermaid or a child of the ocean um, they won't be too happy on that second floor because I have put the full island living collection of fish on the wall as well. So sims who are fishermen and maybe missing a fish from their collection, they could go and get it. And those fishing baskets as well. I don't really know how those things work because I've got a sim, I'm playing with a sim that is child of the ocean. So I can't really, I haven't really played with the new fishing, the updated fishing skill. And I really love these balloons. I think they're from a festival, an island festival. I love these balloons. They're amazing. And I just control and nine to raise them up on top of the fence in. I really like that. <laughs> uh, they're so cute. I love them. Like little fishies. Trying to add more like souvenir -y things onto the build now so we're sort of picturing this as like the main shop floor where like tourists from the beach which is the beach is the lot over from this one so you can imagine tourists going to the beach and then going over to buy s or going to the retail store to buy some beachy items like floaties and stuff you can't actually set these for sale which I was quite disappointed with but you can imagine they've gone to get their beach items before going to the beach, like all their souvenirs, their bucket and spade and stuff, before going over to the beach. That's really cute. I really like that. Because there's always like souvenir shops, gift shops near the beach where I live anyway. And I wasn't really sure whether this could be a chill out area for your sims, like go upstairs, chill out and hang out. Or it could just be a plain furniture sort of area, furniture store. Uh, I did set them for sale as furniture because I thought it'd be nice for my simile though to go and buy some furniture for her lot because at the moment we've got a tent. <laughs> so I decided in the end to mix up all the furniture and have a lot of different colour swatches and different seating items for the top floor so we could have a little bit of a selection so it's more like a store than just a seating area because it's a little bit different and here you go i added another few shelves took off all the conch shells and now this is the full seashell collection so your sims can go and buy the seashell collection if you like and they won't have to go and search the beaches for all of the seashells so they're all up in the store as well so if you're missing one you can go and grab it from here and here you go this is Sulani stores I hope you enjoyed this build I really did I had so much fun playing with this build and I can't wait to add it into my game if you want to download this build as well, it's up on my gallery, Caitlin Anwin. If you like this build, tell me which part of it is your favourite. <laughs> Do you like the blue floor, the yellow floor or the orange? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and if you haven't already, it would mean so much to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye!